Guys, my name is Abhijit, and you're watching Code Keen. So, before starting the video, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please do subscribe. I post Django related stuff, and this series in this day, the, uh, and I'm creating a series on celery, and the series will be completely in English because a lot of people are not able to consume my content because of language barrier, and I don't want that. So I, I want like a lot of people can get benefit from my videos can get job and uh, what I know I want to deliver my content to them so this particular series will be in English and uh, this video is specially for the Patrick knows a subscriber or the person who is on commenting like please make videos English this video is specially for you if you are start. Uh, the this is the official documentation of celery the official documentation page of celery and uh, we will see in slide like what is celery why should we use celery and what benefits it's going to solve what problem it's going to solve what is the architecture of celery so let's dive into the slide so so this is a slide like uh, i haven't made the slide i have just copy pasted so please think like this is a slide okay so first of all this is a like introduction to celery what is a celery like celery is a task queue which like in django when you are creating some scalable application and you want to execute some task in a the background the, then you can use that particular task in thread but thread has some sort of limitation it executes in a multi processes like a lot of if you if you are in 10 13 30 thread those all thread will execute on the same cpu and the uh, and your cpu will be like more intensive and uh, that's not good for the like a scalable application because you have a lot of people and a lot of people will request for that particular then you your thread will like consume so when you are creating a scalable application and uh, if you are running a lot of thread that will make like cpu the C, your cpu will be very intensive and not able to perform very much and uh, your at the end your application or your website or your web application will might slow down and it can return also 5405 gateway bad error gateway these kind of stuff so avoid those kind of stuff we use celery like celery is a task queue you just simply put your task which is like going to take some amount of time celery executes that task and uh, gives the result like okay so another advantage of celery is like that you can uh, uh, if you have used cron jobs like if suppose that you have a task which you have to execute every uh, night at uh, 12 am you have to execute a specific task and that tax task should be executed every day okay so you can then you can then that particular thing with the help of celery and uh, this is like uh, you can eventually if you want that particular some particular task to execute on a specific day a specific minute and you can also do that in celery so this is a simple architecture of celery and here is our django application our django application uses some sort of database like postgres okay so we have like message broker message broker uh, you need to use message broker which is very uh, fast in database like redis which stores all the messages which stores all your request in the redis and performs one by one um, here we use celery worker which perform the your task in the background so this is a particular architecture of a celery where you can also use rabbit rabbit mq or redis but redis is more easy to integrate in celery so we will look like how we can add redis in uh, salary okay so let's again uh, go to the second slide so what are the benefits of salary like you can execute task asynchronously distributed execution expensive process okay so if your process is very expensive you can add uh, you can add particular thing in the salary 
so what we can do yeah, we can add third party apis in our salary we can schedule our task we can add periodic task retry our task like suppose uh, let's let me give you an example like first of let's uh, our user register on your website and user got an email to verify that email and user hasn't verified that email uh, in two hour three hour you can again resubmit that particular email like you haven't sub you haven't verified your mail please verify your mail to get their benefits you can add that kind of stuff in using salary and you can definitely enhance the user experience because although it we we make our application robust to enhance the user experience okay so let's welcome to the another slide what is salary like sell task you hold on uh, task you are used to distribute work across the work uh, task you are based on advanced message queue protocol we can use like red rabbit mq redis definitely we will go we will going to use redis as a message broker because we need to add the redis is very more easier to integrate in as compared to rabbit mq and uh, let's again learn the salary this is for the first video and eventually you can become a superhero in salary because it's very important if you have done some projects in salary you can definitely get a very great job and these kind of stuff are used in big companies like uh, when you are making some robust application when you are making some scalable ac application so please do check uh, out all the playlists and uh, this is the first video and that this is for it and please subscribe for the another video and meet you in the next video where we will add salary to our Django project this is for the video thank you